Hey guys, VBad here with another V Plays, and welcome to a series I'm gonna call Win or Lose. Essentially, I've been running into these things where like I've either forgotten to be recording or I was recording but the battle wasn't good or there was some distraction in the background. So essentially, this is gonna be uncut. I'm not gonna, this recording is gonna play whether this battle goes well or not. Uh, so that way, it's just kind of an honest portrayal of my play. Uh, today we're in the I-220. The I-220, I think, is potentially a very strong Tier 7 altitude fighter. Like, everything I see shows that it has some of the best maneuverability, although it sacrifices a little bit on altitude performance. And it has, like, the most consistent guns for the tier. These are 420s arranged around the propeller, so they are synchronized, center, centrally mounted. And... It allows it to be able to get very consistent damage at long range, unlike the BF-109s or the Mustang, where the Mustang has shorter range, but it does still have consistent guns. So here we are just being really careful with the guns here. Get some good shots off, took out that one plane. Decent enough maneuverability to be able to stake loot on this aircraft and we damage the other one fairly easily. So we we're able to pick up this zone fairly quickly and I'm, I have been impressed with this aircraft all the times that I've flown it. I would like to specialize it to be able to bring out even more of its capability. That's a meteor, that might be trouble. I don't know if my allies will be able to go after that or not. I'm going to see what I can do to get on him. He also has 420s on his aircraft. Ugh, can I even get up there? I'm worried he's set up for maneuverability. If he's set up for maneuverability, I'm going to have a heck of a time. We are very tunnel visioned on this aircraft right now. There, we got him, but we didn't get the zone, so... It's a human and a... Focke Wolf 190D. We managed to break him off of our ally, that's good. Corsair over here. I'm sure he's gonna realize I'm here in a second. Can I get him in the zone? Yeah, we got him in the zone. That's good. There is another light fighter here. What is it? P-51? Ah, we'll see if we can actually do this or not. Like I said, we have a little bit more maneuverability than these guys, so we can use that advantage. And the better gun power. The guns, it's not better gun power, it's just more consistent guns. There's the meteor again down there. Ah, I don't want to play with him. Let's go. Oh, geez, there's two of them. I-220. He swapped out to his other plane. Okay. That's understandable. Like I said, I wanted to specialize this plane probably for the same reasons he specialized it. And we killed each other. Man. Okay, we lost the zone. Unfortunate. We'll have to come back. Whew. And it looks like the uh, Corsair swapped out for the Ki-84, also known to be a very strong Tier 7 altitude fighter. Well, mid-altitude fighter. Whew. They're not making this easy. Uh, let's go to the command center, see if we can help with capturing that. I mean, I guess the good news is we took him out, so we're not going to have to worry about him over there right now. Oh, uh, we could intercept this heavy. Yeah, he's not going after the bombers, so... Go ahead and dead that F2. Probably a good idea to get some help over here. If we get there first, we can drag the defense aircraft up to higher altitudes, which would mean that they're in a bad energy state. Well, I just have a bunch of potential energy to dive on them. We just got to avoid all this flak and wait for the first victim to rise up here. Okay. OK, 
Okay, good crit. But I'm not sure we'll be able to stick on him here. Now he's all stalling out with that engine out. It actually makes him an even more difficult target. It's the same reason I come to nearly a dead stop in my bomber, so people run into me. Or just fly right past. Got him on fire on that pass. Now he's straightening out. And we picked up the zone, cool. Oof. We're staying ahead on points right now, so that's good. Um, we got their airfield, nice, good job team. Uh, they'll grab our airfield momentarily because I don't think we've done anything to stop that bomber flight. It's at full strength. All five bombers are inbound. Let's build up some of our boost and steadily make our way towards the center. That's a ghost icon in the middle I was looking at. It's not really there, the heavy icon. It's since it's not moving. Turns out planes move. So he must have gotten killed earlier. What do we got here? Defense aircraft. Player controlled aircraft. There's a heavy inbound. Like most light fighters, I do fairly well intercepting heavies since we can stick on them and we tend to have decent altitude performance. There's one down. Guns have overheated. Let's let these cool off a little bit. Be a little bit more steady with the trigger pulses here. Keeps the guns accurate. And it's dead anyways, okay. We are up next to a B-17. Like I said, our altitude is a little bit more limited in this. As you can see, we're in the yellow numbers right now. We're only about 7,000 feet and some change, opposed to our brethren who can get up to about 8,000 at this tier. Yak-3RD. At this altitude, huh? He's gonna get me here. Ooh, he, we definitely rammed each other there. That was not what I was hoping for. I was hoping to be able to pull out of that. Oh well. He's gone. Uh, like I said, this is uh, whether we do well or we don't do well. So let's follow Smiling Joe right here in his F4U1 Corsair. Then be your tier six. Carries two, those look like 500 pound bombs. Yep, and then a couple of cannons. Now you could run eight five inch rockets, I think on this aircraft, or maybe it's only six. Oh, what the heck? Um. That air defense <laughs> aircraft just rammed him. Uh, well, let's hold off on good game just yet. It's not over, is it? They're about to pick up their airfield. So it's definitely not over at this point. This is another F4U1. It looks like he may be running his clean. Otherwise, you would have seen the mounts on the belly. What do we got here? He's a pretty dangerous position right here. Might be going for the lower health aircraft. Seems to be struggling for airspeed. Probably not upgraded on the engines based on that. It's getting a bit of that passive regen. Ooh. Um, looks like the fighters were on him. Alright, we still have two other human players. Let's see if we can find one of them. There we go. What are you doing here? The A7M. Uh, I've, I've heard good things about this. Some of the guys I play with really do enjoy this. I think our bomber flight's about to pick up this airfield just from drops alone as long as that Focke Wolf doesn't die in the zone. It might be able to pick this up. 
and we won anyways. All right, good game, good game. Oof, we were top of the team regardless of the fact that we died early. Uh, good showing from both sides. I, I really like seeing as people drop out, we can do a quick tally here. One, two, three, four, five people on each team, a total of 10 players. It's really nice seeing this game population density kind of increase over the uh, holiday season. It seems to really have ballooned up. I don't know if that's because a lot of people are kind of indoors due to the colder weather in certain regions or if the game starts is starting to regrow its popularity it would be nice if that was the case because i'd really like to see the population flush up back out uh <laughs> can't buy a win in my 260 today no it's unfortunate so we managed to get 11 targets uh this was pretty standard battle we just broke 10k not one of my best matches but i was able to take on the meteor and even though we lost our aircraft we were able to get into an engagement with the specialized version of this aircraft and it played out fairly well for us i'll talk to Bo in just a second so i think that this is probably going to be one of the easier aircraft to fly as an altitude fighter and it's mostly due to the gun performance. As for the maneuverability and the airspeed and the altitude performance, there are some things that are kind of traded between the aircraft. The P-51 is really good at being able to hold its airspeed. The I-220 actually has pretty good climb rate, but sacrifices a little bit of its max altitude. That's including optimal as well as service ceiling. Um, and then of course the 109G has good maneuverability and good airspeed. Uh, while not necessarily being better than the I-220 or the P-51D in either of those two categories. Anyways, that's enough blathering out about the airframe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.